to defeat the virus, this horrible, horrible virus. You see how terrible it is, especially when you look at the numbers from yesterday. And we explained why we're extending our nationwide guidelines to slow the spread for 30 days. Together, we have the power to save countless lives. We are attacking the virus on every front with social distancing, economic support for our workers, rapid medical intervention, and very serious innovation, and banning dangerous foreign travel that threatens the health of our people. And we did that early, far earlier than anyone would have thought, and way ahead of anybody else. In this time of need, I know that every American will do their patriotic duty and help us to achieve a total victory. As governments and nations focus on the coronavirus, there's a growing threat that cartels, criminals, terrorists, and other malign actors will try to exploit the situation for their own gain. And we must not let that happen. We will never let that happen. Today, the United States is launching enhanced counter-narcotics operations in the Western Hemisphere to protect the American people from the deadly scourge of illegal narcotics. We must not let the drug cartels exploit the pandemic to threaten American lives. In cooperation with the 22 partner nations, U.S. Southern Command will increase surveillance, disruption, and seizures of drug shipments and provide additional support for eradication efforts, which are going on right now at a record pace. We're deploying additional Navy destroyers, combat ships, aircraft and helicopters, Coast Guard cutters, and Air Force surveillance aircraft, doubling our capabilities in the region. Very importantly, our forces are fully equipped with personnel, protective equipment, and we've taken additional safety measures to ensure our troops remain healthy. Secretary Mark Esper, Attorney General Bill Barr, National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien will provide more details. In addition, I'm going to have uh, General Milley, who's done an incredible job in so many ways, say a few words. And also with us our Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Gilday, who you know, I think you know, and Commandant of the Coast Guard, Admiral Schultz. So I'm going to ask uh, Mark to start, and then we can go. And uh, after that, we're going to take questions as it pertains to this, and then we'll go on to phase two, which is the virus itself. Okay? Thank you. Please, Mark. Well, thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon, everyone. So you've been watching the uh, president update us after the uh, task force has uh, met this afternoon. Uh, one missing person there, we don't see Vice President Mike Pence. He's been at just about every hearing that I can remember, but uh, the president's saying that the government is attacking the virus on every front, including now the effort to stop drug cartels. We're going to be airing this in its entirety over on our digital platform. So if you'd like to watch it, go to WTHR's Facebook page or, of course, our website, and you can watch it there.